Welcome to the Thunder Post Game Show. John Rohde alongside Thunder beat writer Darnell Mayberry. Thunder wins it, beats San Antonio 108 to 96, sweeps the back to back to back. Happened only eight times last time there was a shortened season. First time it's happened this year, Darnell. Did you see it coming? Well, I didn't. Nick Collison did. He he thought that they would uh, win all three, or at least were capable of winning all three. And you know, when you look at the schedule, Houston twice they're struggling right now, and then the Spurs when they lost Manu Ginobili, you figured this would be uh, you know a better game. At least it's set up to be a better game for the Thunder. So, uh, you know, I think the Thunder took care of business. I think the last time uh, the franchise beat San Antonio this bad was uh, back in 2004 in the Seattle days. Uh, this one was uh, over early in the third, midway through the third. Thunder outscored the Spurs 37-21 in the period. After that, the starters didn't even play in the fourth. Yeah, I thought uh, it was a nice team effort for the second straight night. Uh, you know, Russell Westbrook didn't really have his shot going. He carried them in the first three quarters at Houston. Uh, he's finished with 25 points in that game, but he only had 13 on 13 shots tonight. But Durant was big. James Harden was big again. Nick Collison with his first double-double of the season. Uh, you know, the list goes on. This team right now is just getting big contributions from, from everyone down the line. So uh, if they continue to play like that, this shortened season, they've already said it's going to set up well for a young team like this uh, with fresh legs. If they get c contributions from every guy like that, I think they're going to be in great shape. Not all good news, Darnell. Unfortunately, Eric Maynard, Saturday night, midway through the fourth, tore his right ACL. He is gone for the season. His replacement, Reggie Jackson, came in. 23 minutes, 11 points, 4 assists. Your thoughts on Reggie? I thought Reggie was solid. Uh, he played with confidence. He really controlled the team. He didn't really have to do much because James Harden has really emerged and, and taken on uh, more of a leadership role in that second unit, running the two-man game with Nick Collison. Um, but I think Reggie Jackson, as he gets more experience, he's going to be even better. I mean, he scored 11 points with four assists tonight, uh, and he looked like you know a, a veteran out there at times, just kind of doing what he was supposed to do, not trying to do too much. Uh, so in that sense, I think, um, you know, he played well. All right, the Thunder is off tomorrow. They travel to uh, Memphis. Then they have back-to-back -back at Memphis, at New Orleans. You see 5-0 and oh in this five and six games? It's possible. I mean, you, you sort of have to guard against a letdown against that uh, Grizzlies team on Tuesday, even though they're missing Zach Randolph. You know, I think the Thunder came into these three really trying to shut up people about this three games and three nights, the back-to-back-to-back. To back to back. Uh, and they really got up for this, and they played well throughout all three. So now, you know, I have to guard against that letdown game, uh, sort of a trap game against uh, the Memphis Grizzlies on the road. All right, for the best Thunder coverage anywhere, keep it right here on NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoma.